Hi, this is uh, PV from Kit Karma, and uh, I'm here today to talk about this lens. Cheap, cheap, $370, but awesome. So, uh, so we all know TT Artisans and Seven Artisans, two companies making uh, copies of Leica lenses. This is a 7 Artisans 28mm 1.4. This is a 51.4. Now the story is that I sold my Noctilux. I just couldn't justify a six, well I, I bought it used for about $7,000. So just couldn't justify that lens sitting around because during the COVID, you know, uh, there were no weddings happening, nothing was really happening and I was not shooting much with it. And uh, I, I loved it. I think it's one of the best lenses I've ever used. It's, it's produced some magic in my life. Uh, but I thought, you know, let it go. So sold it to a friend. Uh, so, so I was kind of uh, in the market for a 50mm. And then I came across this release, uh, the 50mm 1.4, which is a Sumilux copy, uh, like a Sumilux copy of the TT Artisan. So, okay, so this one is a 7 Artisan 28 1.4. I won't call it the Sumilux, I'll call it the 1.4. And this is the 50 1.4. So, uh, took it around for a couple of days. Oh man, I mean, it is amazing how uh, this one is about $450, this one is about $370, and the Leica equivalents, you know, cost anywhere between $4,000 to about $6,000, $7,000. You know, we can debate it all our lives, but I can tell you if there is something called value for money in this world, that's these lenses. I mean, they are phenomenal. Now, this is my monochrome, so frankly, I have not tested how good or bad the purple fringing, the color fringing is, but on black and white, it rocks. It has got the Leica pop, it's got a 3D pop shooting wide open. The bokeh is beautiful, uh, the fall off is excellent, uh, the contrast is brilliant, the sharpness wide open is amazing. I mean, I I just could not believe it. And you know, when I first bought this one, uh, that time I didn't have my queue, I had sold my queue and then I re-bought it, but in between I needed a 28 mm. So I went for this because obviously the 28 Lux, I just couldn't afford the 28. Lux from Leica, right? So I went for this and I was astounded. And then I said, oh wow, okay. So these guys look to be doing well. And then I came across the 50, which was made by the other company. And I went for it and man, am I glad, am I glad. And it comes in a nice packing. Now the 28 packing was like terrible, but this one is pretty neat. Uh, this is how it looks and uh, you know, uh, well, it's not, it's not, doesn't, feel expensive, it's not leather and all that stuff, but you know what, $370, who cares? I would have been happy even if they didn't have a box with it, who cares? Uh, so yeah, I, I just, it's completely amazing. So so is this a time, and I know I'm, I'm nobody to kind of tell Leica what to do, and I'm a Leica fanboy, admitted. I know a lot of Leica fans uh, who swear by it, and we understand they have tight tolerances, the Leica lasts for a lifetime, uh, the optics is phenomenal, all that granted. I know there are, you know, they, they are a class apart. They don't want to be considered as, you know, one of those anyone can buy a Leica kind of guys. There is exclusivity. All that said, uh, if you're a professional and if you are looking for your equipment to give you some ROI, you need to be able to justify. Now, I also understand that Leica is probably bought by, you know, we have it all kind of guys. Uh, but there are people like me uh, who are professionals who would love to shoot with the Leica simply because I think we see a difference in what we shoot. The client kind of feels that difference. I mean, if you shoot with a Noctilux versus any other lens, I think it's a palpable visual appeal. So. So there is a case uh, for looking at the prices. I mean, $12,000 for those Noctiluxes, that's insane. Okay, I can still understand that. Uh, 
you know, because they are 0.95 and 75.1 or 1.25 and all that. But what about the others? What about like, let's say the 28 lux or even the 50 lux? Uh, still exorbitant, still extremely expensive, and, and the U.S. prices just went up, and then, of course, they adjusted something, so it probably came down a notch, but all said and done, still extremely expensive. So so is there a case for Leica to really probably, you know, relook at the prices, and, you know, what would happen? Uh, a guy who buys two lenses might end up buying three because he can simply afford it. Now, if I could afford it, I would have only Leica. Even if this was available for $370 and this for $450, if I could afford a Leica, I would surely buy it because I understand why it costs what it costs and I would love to shoot with it. Uh, but right now, can I justify buying three lenses, four lenses? No, I might buy one Leica. Like I had the Noctilux, and then I had all third-party lenses. I had a couple of Whitelanders. Uh, I tried a Zeiss in between, and then I had these, right? So, so it just kind of, you know, how much ever I would love to own Leica's, bequeath it as a legacy to my kids, it just doesn't justify. I mean, I just can't justify uh, what I pay for a Leica. So in the meantime, these guys are awesome. No client will ever figure out that I shot it with a $370 lens versus let's say $4,000 Sumilux. So, so I'm pretty happy and it looks cool. Uh, you know, the, this guy, this 28, they provided a rubber kind of a notch here to kind of fix it with some tape and then it was flimsy and all that. But this one has this, you know, stuck to the lens. So it, it feels like a Lux, like a Sumilux, like a Leica. And, uh, you know, the clicks are beautiful, very nice, and the focusing is very smooth. So, so some people tell me, yeah, you know what, uh, if it falls one time, you lose it. I said, so what? I mean, I baby a Leica lens. I wouldn't, you know, throw around a Leica lens. So, so am I not going to throw around this lens, right? I'm going to obviously baby it. And, uh, uh, well, with this lens, it falls, it breaks. Guess what? Trash it, order another one. That's it, right? So I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I, I hear there is a 35 uh, 1.4 also. So um, should I uh, order that? Maybe. Uh, I'll, I'll see. Uh, I'll see if I really need a 35. Right now I'm pretty happy with a 28, 50. And maybe I need a 75. Maybe not because I have this. Uh, so just got this yesterday as a Hazzy 907X. I'll talk in another video about this, but I have a 90mm with this, which is equivalent of a 70. So I can shoot that and uh, will be another video about this. I have a gripe with this guy. I mean, it's brilliant. It's beautiful. The results are amazing. It's great to handle all that, but there is one huge, huge gripe I have with this. We'll talk about that in the next video, but as of now, I'm going to enjoy the 50 1.4 from, wait, TT Artism. So that's it.